that quick whip. But yet again, we are having two ends of the opposite spectrum right here. We have the, the super heavy DK versus the super light Jigglypuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly haven't seen too much uh, Jigs in Ultimate. Um, I know we have Sin. Uh, since probably, if I'm not mistaken, our best Jigglypuff in yeah. SoCal. Um, I, I could be wrong. I mean, he's probably the only Jigglypuff in SoCal, to be completely honest. But <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man. Uh, I mean, that being said, he is <laughs> damn good at what he does. Yes, he's good. Oh, oh yo, no. baited, though? Oh, oh dang. I, oh. I like the attempt. It, it was cute. <laughs> it was cute, face. I liked it. But dang. then you, get, again, you have uh, AZ, and AZ is a pretty strong region, I would say. And you have Base Mage being PR'd there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I, th I think he's like six or seventh on their PR, or something like that. Like With he, solo jigs? Solo jigs, yeah. He recently beat uh, Pandarian at one of their locals. So, yet again, Jigglypuff is super strong. I believe. Uh, wow, he beat Pandarian? Yeah. Uh, I believe he got like fourth at Ascension. Wow. Or something. So, like, that was like a 170% bracket with like solo jigs. Like, this guy. I would say is probably one of the best, if not the best, Jigs in the world. Okay. And right now, YMCA battling it out with the Donkey Kong. Um, Donkey Kong definitely exploitable recoveries, but right now, oh, there it is. Okay, gonna exploit that. Tried to get a little greedy with the the giant punch there. Would have done a lot of damage. I mean, might have killed honestly, but. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, uh, using the, the, the pound of the bear. No, I feel like that pound has like so little end lag to it compared oh. to it before, but I mean, that little end lag doesn't matter when you get ding dong. Yep, take me back to Smash 4, man. That's what YMCA is doing right now to the to the chat. <laughs> Showing you guys that ding dong's still a thing on this platform, and uh, Jigglypuff definitely gonna not have too much fun. Oh, or maybe trying to... Yeah, again, he's just oh. taking him on a ride on the bear train. Wow. And Look at how much damage he's like done so far. Yeah, he's back just not letting it back. He, he was so close to getting that edge guard. Like, base did everything he could have, but it just the, the backer was just a tad bit off. And now he has to basically reset neutral. And, oh, I, I like what YMC was trying to do there, but yet again, not base mage being able to attack it. Oh yeah, and then if you tech it, you're like pretty much negative on his. And it's like getting rock rocks, basically. Yeah. yeah. And YMCA oh. is so good at these parries, but yeah, that directional air dodge will be the death of base mage. YMCA will take that game number one. Again, I mean, I, I don't know like what it was for YMCA, just like it's so strong for DK to have that kill confirm at like such a low percent because it's Jigglypuff, you know? Yeah. And even if he gets out of that percent. No, Jigglypuff is in kill percent at like 70. Yeah. So it's base. just going to be really hard for base mage to be able to keep DK off stage. DK is so heavy that, you know, a couple of fairs, like most characters, like they have very vertical recoveries. And so if they get like fared off stage, you know, they, they, they struggle to come back. Not DK because DK can just go so far like off stage. Like horizontally. Horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, DK does have that weight to back him up as well. So. We'll see if uh, Base Mage can close out some more of these edge guards. I feel like he's getting a lot of damage off the edge guards, but he needs to be able to also seal the stock out and land that like bear finisher that we're seeing. Um, and for YMCA, man, he's, he's just doing such a good job of parrying. And I feel like DK has very big and fast aerials. His air to air is actually, oh, he's pretty dead. Yeah. That. Well, I mean, he gets damage off with that up B, and I, I, that, that's yeah. something, I guess. A cherry on top. I mean, prime ding dong for Zen. You already see him going for that dash grab there underneath the platform. And you can just see base mage be like, okay, I have the percent and the stock lead. Like, I am not approaching you on the ground so that you can get a grab. But so again, that's actually really good to break out Puff's combos is the aerial comp spin, but. Ooh, I love the cross up there coming off from base mage. Oh no, well oh, he didn't jab lock. I want. I honestly don't know if Jiggly's jab locks or not. I I would assume so. It, it does. I, I just think he wasn't expecting him not to tech. Yeah, yeah, because he like looked to the right as well. So maybe right. he uh, expected like a roll in. But right now, wow, base mage, what a what a turnaround, honestly. Big damage here. Oh, gets the reset. I like that. He did that short off, uh, waited out an option and be like, okay, you're shielding, I'm going to grab you instead. Okay, we got the wave land. Looking clean. Another cross up aerial. Jigglypuff's aerial mobility is so good. I mean, the fact that, like, Jigglypuff can just, like, 
bob and weave in the air, cross up shields, you know, retreat from like like hit you with a spare and then like retreat backwards is so good. The only way you're gonna be able to beat it is if you can parry like what YMCA did. You can he parried it, got a quick up kill and managed to get uh, up air off of it too. Yeah, it might be a little too late here for YMCA though on his last stock. Very high percent here. And uh, base mage still sitting pretty at like 40. But, you know, we, we have seen the percentages that uh, YMC has been getting some of these socks. And we're talking Jigglypuff, too. Um, probably the second lightest character in the game. I would assume so. I mean, she's light. I think it's, it's she's not like the second lightest. It's like he chose the lightest and right. then Squirtle. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then Squirtle. And then it's Puff or Game & Watch. I think it's Game & Watch and then Puff. Dang, if, it, if it's Puff... Yo, bottom three, or like top three lightest characters are Pokemon. No, that would be pretty funny. Oh, there's the back here, though. Oh, okay. Wow, that was even close. I mean, that's the thing about DK. Like, you may be struggling in neutral a little bit, but you're living from like 200%. Up to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, base mage. Very solid return on that game number two. Two stock there. So we're going to go into game number three. I mean, I'm assuming both these players are going to say the same characters. I know. I don't know about base mage. I don't know if how, like, strong the solo Puff is, or like, I don't know not how strong, but more so like if he has other pockets for backups, but he just won that game, so right. I doubt it. I mean, uh, he'll switch. I know he does have other like pocket characters, but like they're nowhere near his like Like YMCA, he has his DK, but like he has like Wario for like the super, super bad matchups, but like against this matchup, which seems to be about even for the most part. Like, they're going to go their base. They're going to go with their strongest way. Yeah, for sure. So there's the pound, but the up, the... Wow. He took more damage. Yeah. <laughs> Landing that move. <laughs> 18. Oh, I mean, that, 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 that must feel bad. Like, you, you land a hit, and you get punished for effectively winning neutral. Look at that. He's just up bees out of, <laughs> out of the hit. Like, what are you going to do, Pop? Oh, he tried to definitely kill him at 46 right there. Right. There's a the drift away. Ooh, that shield looking pretty low. And that lingering hitbox is so good for catching normal get up, especially on like these taller characters as well. Yeah, DK is such a huge hitbox that he just breaks the shield Ooh, on top of it. No rest, just gonna go with the forward smash. I mean, if, if he did rest, obviously like he'll just he'll probably die for it. <laughs> right. Oh wait, there! Wow. I mean, did he just get grabbed at like 46? It was like 50 something. Or 50 something? Yeah. Wow. I, I'm really surprised. Oh. Down here chains though. I I'm really surprised there was no ban on this stage because th this is uh, this is where they play game one and there's no DSR so. I mean I know it's a lot easier. Oh no! Baited. Oh DK's sleep animation looks so funny. What? I've never seen that. You never seen the the curl of the little balls of beam the one? No. Is, was that in Smash Four? Yeah, that's, it's always been that. Damn. It's been like that since like like How do melee. I did not know that. Dang, that's like the first time I've ever seen that. Alright, well, there's a first time for everything in Base Mage. Uh, didn't get like the kill off of it, but still with a very solid lead here. Uh, YMC is going to have to be careful, and there it is, the Nair backwards? Yeah, I mean, the Nair is such a better hitbox in this game. It's just huge, and it, it's, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. Dude, I like through my peripheral vision, I saw Base Mage mashing for his soul. Oh, double oh, no. nair. But man, just to break through it with the upbeat. Okay, he gives another grab. Big damage here. Tries to get another up air. Oh my goodness, and it's prime time. It's time for the ding dong. If he gets grabbed, oh, looks oh. like he's not gonna go for it. Yeah. I mean, he's probably out of ding dong percent. Now, now he is, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, like, who needs ding dong when like a bear will kill at this percent? When you got the foot, oh, there's the down throw, but Jigglypuff not being a fast faller, not gonna, or you're gonna live longer horizontally. <gasps> Jab oh, no. No, no way, the rest? Oh, and there it he is, lives. but he's alive! He's alive! Oh. No way! Oh, I oh. feel so bad. Oh <laughs> YMCA was just like, I did not deserve that's this victory. So tragic. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. That's so tragic. Face Mage had that game. He had it. He had the roll read. He knew DK was just so huge that like yeah. even if he rolled past him, <laughs> he was gonna get hit by that 